Hello folks, welcome back to the latest home video review from us here at Flick Direct. And today's home video review is, well if you couldn't tell by my shirt, today's home video review is the 40th year anniversary of Friday the 13th on Blu-ray in this awesome steelbook case. So first of all, if you guys have not seen the original Friday the 13th, now to be fair, the original film isn't loved by everybody in the horror community, but for some it is considered a classic, especially for the slasher subgenre, and I'm definitely one of those that considers this film to be a classic. But anyways, getting into the plot of Friday the 13th, Friday the 13th takes place at the fictional Camp Crystal Lake as it's being reopened after years of unsolved murders, and during its re opening, each camp counselor is being stalked by an unnamed assailant. That is basically all that I'm going to tell you guys when it comes to the plot of this movie because this is a movie that when it comes to the horror genre itself, especially when it comes to the slasher subgenre, it subverts many expectations, especially for what is happening within this movie. Now I'm going to tell you right now, even though this movie is a bit cheesy, getting into my quick review of this movie, this movie is a cheesy, yes, it's a bit over the top, Yes, but do not get me wrong, there's a certain quality to it that is just so much fun to watch. Now here's the thing guys, the acting in Friday the 13th isn't the greatest, nor is the screenplay, but let's be real here, we're not watching Friday the 13th to see amazing Oscar winning acting, we're here to see this unknown assailant going against these camp counselors that are doing terrible their jobs and killing them, and honestly to god, this movie is a lot of fun at times it's quite creepy even if it is a little over the top but then again this is really if you ask me friday the 13th is just a great b horror film that i think sets out and it's doing successful of what it's trying to do and honestly it is a hell of a lot of fun especially if you have a lot of friends over now getting into the audio and video quality starting off with the video quality friday the 13th on blu-ray is presented on an aspect ratio of 1.78 by 1 and i'll be real with you guys at first when this movie starts off the opening sequences look pretty rough i mean it doesn't look particularly great i mean not to the point where it's unwatchable but you do notice that it feels or it looks a bit rough however after the opening sequence this movie actually looks really 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 good and it has aged quite well the colors look really really good and even though this movie is on 4k like i mentioned it is on blu-ray this movie for a blu-ray quality looks very very good the colors look out very very nicely especially when you see the waters of camp crystal lake you see certain clothing and how the reds especially pop out the grays on the roads look really good and even i gotta say the production design seeing the camp design looks really really good and also the shadow detail looks great especially during the nighttime scenes the black details and the shadows like i mentioned look really really good now like i mentioned before besides the opening scene which looks pretty rough after that this movie looks really really good i was really surprised even this movie is on 4k for a blu-ray quality release this looks really really good and i was actually quite impressed and getting into the audio quality friday the 13th is presented on a dolby true hd 5.1 track and i will say this this movie's audio isn't going to completely blow you away i feel like but i do feel like that the dolby true hd 5.1 track does still a damn good if not actually pretty damn great job of just bringing you into this isolated world of Friday the 13th, especially when you hear this. <laughs> Come on, you know I had to do that. I mean, it would not be a Friday the 13th video if I didn't do that sound. But then again, isn't there a whole lot of speculation on to how the actual theme song for Friday the 13th is? I mean, I've heard a bunch anyways, getting right back into it. The music in Friday the 13th is very well mixed, seriously. The music in Friday the 13th is one of my favorite horror scores in general. And not to mention the dialogue sounds crystal clear. I love all the ambiance of Crystal Lake sounds, especially when you hear the crickets and when you hear some certain sound effects, like you'd see seems like the killer of this movie is right behind you and just really the ambiance get this gives this nice little eerie feeling now once again it's not the greatest track ever but i will say that this track does a damn good job of making you seem like that you're at camp crystal lake trying to survive over what in the heck is trying to go after these counselors but really 
the sound does a really good job of bringing you in feeling the ambiance of the movie. And for the special features, I gotta say, Friday the 13th actually has a couple of really cool featurettes in there. Now, before I get into those, I did forget to mention that besides the theatrical cut, Friday the 13th on Blu-ray, this had the unrated, uncut version of the movie. So if you're interested in seeing the uncut version, it's actually a really, really cool cut of the movie. But anyways, getting into the special features, what we have here is a really nice commentary. There's some really cool interviews with the cast and crew, along with some deleted scenes and with a couple of other things. Well, it's not really deleted scenes, but instead it's just more behind the scenes stuff. But nonetheless, it is still really, really cool, especially if you're a big Friday the 13th fan. So overall, what we have here besides a really cool steelbook to which, by the way, look at the back right here. I think that's a really cool reference to the original film, by the way. But anyways, this is a really cool steelbook nonetheless. What we have here is a really fun B-horror slasher film that's really a classic, if you ask me, in the genre. Good video quality, if not pretty great video quality, really good audio with some really fun features. Guys, I'd highly suggest you pick this one up, especially if you just want a really fun night in with your buddies watching a fun slasher horror flick. Seriously, this one is a lot of fun. And it, trust me, guys, it subverts expectations. I want to say about halfway to the third act, trust me. I did not see what was coming at all. Alrighty guys, and that is going to wrap it up for my home video review of the 40th year anniversary of Friday the 13th on Blu-ray. I can't believe it's been 40 years since that movie came out, but anyways, please comment down and let us know below, will you be picking this movie up, or just really for the Steelbook? I mean, if so, the Steelbook is amazing, but still, pick this movie up nonetheless because it's a lot of fun. Anyways, let us know below. I hope you guys enjoyed our home video review of the 40th year anniversary of Friday the 13th on Blu-ray. If so, please hit that like button, also share, and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell for whenever a new video from us goes live. If you guys want to see any of our previous two home video reviews, please go to the right there or there. And of course, until our next home video review, we'll see you guys next time and have a great day, guys.